never wanted to be all I can be. I never wanted to do more before 6 a.m. than anyone else. But I had to get out of my trailer park. So I joined the U.S. Army. I enlisted in the 7th Infantry. My recruiter told me to make sure the hourglass patch on my shoulder stayed top heavy. Private, dig that hole. Private, shave your head. Private, do you love your country? It is easy to make a man do things that are inhumane if you first make him forget that he too is human. Atrocity is less atrocious when it is part of the job description. When I saw my first dead Iraqi child, I convinced myself it was just part of my training. When I saw my 10th dead Iraqi child, my brain created a compartment to keep them in. When I saw my first dead U.S. soldier, I convinced myself it would never be me. These tile heads will never be the death of me. For the next 11 months, my nerves were no those mixed rock, were no those mixed down with Red Bull. I said hello to Haji with my side arm. Suicide bombers look just like family men in that country. A woman wearing hijab looks just like a woman wearing a C4 vest. They say jihad means holy war. I pray to the wrong God in that country. Their holy war was a war on me. I began to shoot first. I didn't ask questions at all. Now my superiors said I was a model soldier. The way an infantryman was supposed to be, I came home with extra stripes and a higher pay grade. I had all of my fingers and toes, but I was not a whole person when I got back. My nerves were still Mountain Dew and Pop Rocks. My brain would open up that death compartment at night. I am a soldier. I ain't no pussy. But your bodies make horrible alarm clocks. Lucifer's barbecue has a tendency to stick to your nostrils. Insomnia has never frayed soothe nerves. Girlfriends make horrible punching bags. First Sergeant Lucas told me that post-traumatic stress disorder is for pussies. He gave me a speech on manhood. The psychiatrist of Walter Reed, he made me wait for six hours. He gave me a prescription and three weeks of medical leave. When medicine doesn't make it better, I begin to feel hopeless. Jim Beam is the only cure for hopelessness I have ever heard of. Your honor. That taxi driver was an insurgent. He had an explosive device tapped to his cab. Do you know how much damage that will cause on Main Street? I would not stand for American casuals. Casualties. I quelled the threat. I shot first. I am not an armed robber. I am not an armed robber. He threw his money at me. I am a hero. Why are you treating me like a criminal? I just did what they trained me to do. <laughs>